Now the New York Guitar Method Volume 2 covers approach notes and that's really an important aspect of playing. It really teaches you how to play chromatically um, but it teaches you a lot of different ways to apply these chromatic notes that you can use. Um, <coughs> you can use them as, as embellishments to scales, you can use them as embellishments into chord tones, and all these different techniques that you can use approach notes with are really the bread and butter of certain styles. For instance, if you want to play bebop, um, this book will tell you exactly how to build bebop lines using approach notes. Or if you want to use more modern approaches where you're just hearing people play very chromatically and dissonant and you're trying to figure out how to do that, well this is the book for you. Um, it's really an important book if you really want to understand improvisation because you know I kind of divide improvisation up into different techniques like scales is one way to play um, uh, to improvise in the New York Guitar Method Volume 1 covers that. No, the next thing is volume two covers approach notes. That's a whole other way to improvise. Uh, it, it takes a long time to be able to do that because a lot of times some of these techniques involve where you're playing it within a measure. Um, so that also brings in this time thing. So it's a very important book and I would also recommend getting the ensemble book with it. Very challenging book um, because the uh, playing approach notes, reading approach notes is highly difficult. The book also contains the uh, voicings for all the chords in, on the upper four strings and learning how to read those. F yeah, I'm talking four notes at once. You know, you're reading uh, different exercises. So it's, it's quite challenging. It's a book that most um, professional guitar players work through many times, you know, that, um, and it takes quite a while before you can get the ability to be able to just read through that book. But it's an important source to understanding contemporary music and certainly to understanding approach notes and how they are used in contemporary sound.